Hey, John here again. So I was uh, in the middle of cutting these uh, tabs off of these uh, carts. They're aluminum carts, and I got about 200 of them to do. And as I'm cutting through, it's aluminum, 3 sixteenths, I think. And I'm using this wheel, and it's doing a trick, right? Uh, so, but I'm going through blades like, like a maniac. I went through a box of 50 in no time at all. Uh, so I ran out of blades. I'll go to Home Depot and, uh, you know, get more blades. Now these, uh, I got these from a friend in New York, Tom. He's a welder fabricator at a deep discount, but he's in New York and I'm here. And I have to finish these carts, so I only got uh, like 50 of them. And like I said, now I got to go pay $3 a wheel. And I'm thinking, well, this is going to be expensive. So uh, I'll show you closer what I'm doing. I'm just cutting off the center, center pieces here and, um, you know, something looks like, looks like this. Just cutting these off, and again, there's a weld. I'll show you in a, in a second. But uh, so I go to Home Depot and I need uh, need more of these, and I found something that works like ten times better and uh, way easier. So I'll show you that in a second. But while I was at Home Depot, I'm in line because I got there early and uh, wait for this uh, uh, place to open. <laughs> you know, with this uh, pandemic going around, you know, six feet of six feet apart. The doors won't open yet, so people were waiting in line. It looks like a mile long, but you know, it's probably only 15 people there. And so I'm, I'm walking to the end of the line, and I'm wondering why this one dude had like space in like 20 feet. So I, I go walking by, I hear him cough. I'm like, <laughs> so I don't know if he has the COVID cooties or, you know, what's going on there, but I just thought that was funny. Like people are aware now, like before that wouldn't even, a, somebody coughed, you'd walk right by him. But now, People are probably tracking. What aisle is he? I was thinking the same thing. What aisle is he going to? I hope he ain't going to the goddamn saw cutting aisle. Anyways, let me show you this cart here and uh, and show you what I'm doing, and then show you how easy it is to cut these off for aluminum with a, a common tool like this. Most homeowners have something like this. If you're a machine shop or you know a professional place that deals with this all the time, you probably got some kind of wet cutting saw. It's no problem. But uh, up until this point, I was using wheels too anything I do is steel, aluminum, and now that I found this, uh, hey, let me show you, hold on, hold on a second. All right, so here's the task. I got to cut these, these, uh, flanges, our brackets off, and as you can see, they're welded, and like I said, I go in here, you know, cut this weld, cut this weld, get that piece off, and, uh, it would leave, you know, you would cut it off, and it would leave a little bit of the weld there, so then you'd have to go change blades and, you know, grind off the weld and make everything smooth. Now, I do have a plasma cutter, and I tried that, and I'll show you in a second how that came out, but uh, you can't, you know, a plasma cutter will cut through anything, so you, it's kind of, even though my hypertherm has a gouge mode, it, it was way too difficult to get this where you're not impeding on this, you know. So, uh, and the other side of this is even worse. It's got, you know, this angle here. So again, using a wheel in here, you, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting. You can get in there, but it's going to leave too much material, and then you have to go in and grind everything off. And it's working. Don't get me wrong. It is working. And uh, like I said, I'm going through blades like a maniac. One cart, uh, I can get to one blade will, will do basically one and a half carts. So like I said, I got 200, and I was going through blades like, seriously? And you get down to the, you know, you're, you're trying to go as far as possible on this, and then you can't, you know, everything. So anyways, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, like the, where's, I thought I had a piece here for, yeah, see, blowing through the, like this on the, uh, I tried the plasma cutter, and it did, and it, you know, was doing it, but you had to be real careful not to get into this, and I would leave this weld, and I found a new way to do it. Let me show you. Let me just set the camera. I'll just blow through one. Uh, where's the, hold on a second. This is what I found. So I'm at uh, Home Depot, and I'm looking through the, for the uh, chops, the blades, and look at this. I found a, uh, it's probably upside down, found this sucker here, it says, hope this ain't plugged in, <laughs> it says aluminum, right, aluminum, I'm like, that's for cutting aluminum, so this is just a typical saw, what a, what a lifesaver, now, this blade does cost 30 bucks, a little pricey, but I've already done probably 25 carts, and it's still cutting through this stuff, like it's, wet plywood. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I I wish I would have uh, known this a long time ago. Uh, this is the original saw blade on here, and it is carbide. carbide. But the, the kerf on this is, is way thin, and uh, I don't know how many teeth are on this. It's a, just a framing, uh, you know, blade. And this would probably work, you know, cutting this off, but I don't, well, as you can see, there's a carbide missing, 
So this curve is way thicker, you know, the, the, the thickness of the blade this way, you know. So I'm looking at these, you probably can't see them. I mean, they're still sharp. I don't know how long this blade's going to last, but if I can get through the rest of the probably 7,500 carts I got with one blade, 30 bucks, that's going to be awesome. So let me show you what this thing does. And like I said, I just want to show you if you're, if you're cutting aluminum and you've got a saw, uh, you know, circular saw, which most people do, they actually sell aluminum cutting blades, which I did not know, but now I do. I won't go any other way. Uh, let me show you right quick. just did six of them in less than 30 minutes they're all shaved off nice uh, this carbide tip is holding up really good uh, I don't know if you can see that nothing's missing anyways but it still cuts like you know like it's wet plywood I mean it, it just goes right through it no problem whatsoever yeah so anyways these are just cutting them off perfect perfectly off I mean even uh, that, that where the welds were this was a weld, I don't know if you can see that. It's cutting everything just like like it's nothing, like it's butter. Just perfectly smooth. So, anyways, if you're, uh, if you're cutting aluminum and you think there's gotta be a better way, even a chop saw, I don't know if they make uh, like a different size aluminum cutting blades for a chop saw, for instance. Uh, you know, my chop saw, I got a 12 inch and a 10 inch, but I, the only blade I saw there at uh, at Homer Depot was the seven and a quarter because I, I, you know, I, what I'm doing, I can't use it on the chop saw anyway, but uh, from now going forward, I'm going to find a carbide for my chop saw instead of using, uh, 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 you know, the typical, because uh, you can use this for aluminum, don't get me wrong, but it takes a while. So uh, anyways, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.